Hey, Kayla. I got a walk-in. It's a Scout Ricket. It's got a Langus. I'll go here. Please. That's some bark. It's OK. I don't think Teresa, gonna... let's see if this one's got to use the bathroom. Like, let's check. OK, it's cool. How you all doing? Good. Dr. Blue, good to see you all. Hello. I see that Scout is having a tough morning. Yes. All I know is he can't walk. Yesterday, my daughter put him in his crate. I don't know if something happened with that or if he saw something and he thought he needed to get out. I've seen that. Okay. Dogs will jump on the kennel and their hand gets in there or they'll be kind of digging and then they'll try to, and, okay. and it gets locks up. And it's like, ah. Uh, yeah. You know, you, you separate it a little bit or sprain it. They can also break or dislocate. When we came home last night, it was horrible. It was so sad because you're like, ugh, he's just in pain. He's such a sweet boy. Right now, you're not seeing who he normally is, but he's crazy, he's energetic, he loves people, and he loves animals. It's just so sad when he can't jump around and be crazy like he normally is. Well, we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty. Do you mind if we go out in the hallway? I'd like to see him walk. So. Okay. Come on. See, I'll get up again. That's no problem. Come on, we're gonna go this way. He's so happy. He's definitely got the head bob going. Come on. So yeah, that head bob lets me know there's definitely some pain. He's actually painful when that leg is trying to touch the ground. So he's taking the weight and the pressure off him by throwing that head up. <laughs> he's going to give a couple more jumps. His personality <laughs> is trying to overcome his pain. I, mean, I can see that. That's a good thing. So I'm going to do some palpation on his foot. I'm going to start up high just because I feel like he's painful down low. That's what we got. OK, 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 OK. Let him up, let him up. He's upset. So obviously, it's the toes. OK. What I would recommend we do is get an x-ray of his paw. Doing x-rays on the dog is fine. And we can go over it after you're done. All right. Thank you. Give us a couple minutes. All right. All right. God bless him. I hope he's OK. All right, all done? Yes. Perfect, perfect. Let me see what we got. I'm going to get Dr. Ross real quick, see if he'll just look at these with me. I just always like for somebody else to put another set of eyes on it. Give me one second, OK? All right. Hold him there. Dog, pain on his toe. I don't see a break at all, but I just wanted to confirm with you, because sometimes, you know, you get those lucencies that are run by. That looks straight to you, right? No no breaks, no fractures, especially on this phalange here? No, it looks good. I mean, we got some inflammation, but I don't see any fracture or break. Uh, just soft tissue injury. Yeah. Is he uh, put weight on it? Intermittently. OK. But he's still laying. He's three out of four, I would say. All right, it looks good. good. All right. Oh, it's a cow. All right, here's mom. All right. And so, grandma. <laughs> where's the dog? Oh, he's he out there. He's out there. He walked past him. He said, no, he, he's, he said I'm out of here. I'm blowing the popsicle <laughs> stand. So the good news is we do not have a fracture. Good. Good. OK. Our concern is there's more white opacity or whiteness to this toe, and it looks a little larger. And that's because of swelling and inflammation. OK. So that tells me that we either rolled it, got it stuck. OK. However it goes, it's what we call a soft tissue injury. OK. What we're going to do is get some pain medication and rest. OK. And then I want to see him back in about two weeks to see how he's doing. Thank you. Thank All right, you. this way. Some soft tissue damages are so bad, they can almost be lame where they're not using that leg at all. In this case, if there's some abnormalities that still persist, there's something a little bit more involved that I may need to recheck. Scout, the golden retriever, was here about two weeks ago due to a soft tissue injury. I'm going to recheck him to see how he's progressing. You limping? He limped around for like a week. He was in pain. When he felt better, I could hear him going upstairs to get to her. I understand you're the real owner? Yes. Well, he loves me the most. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you shake? Let me see that paw. Good boy. Good job. Let's take him outside. I want to do a lameless exam and see how he does with that. OK. And right there in the middle. All right, now trot to me. Come on, Scout. 
Yeah, don't let him <laughs> Okay, okay, try to scout, scout. <laughs> okay, here, okay. I just want to see something here. I took Scout outside for a gait analysis, making sure that we don't have any head bobbing, no limping on that limb, delayed flicking of the wrist or anything of that nature. Good boy. All right, let's go back inside. Come on. Okay, so the jury's out. No, I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, he's he's really good. Yeah. He's bearing weight on that limb really well. He's not head bobbing at all, and he's not being light on that paw. Even when I shook it, I squeezed the toe, he was fine with it. He's healing great, but I still want you to keep a good eye on his activity for the next couple of weeks. Does he sleep in your room? No, he sleeps downstairs because he's crazy. Because <laughs> he goes in a room and gets her socks. She goes, I wonder what's all in that stomach. Because yeah. he will eat anything. You got to stop him. <laughs> we tried. That's like $3,000 worth of surgery. I don't know if you plan on picking up an extra job this summer. <laughs> OK, <laughs> but. And I'm being so serious. I and, am too. And I, and I know we, it can be difficult, but. We pull it out of his mouth. I have to hold him down. Hopefully, we don't see you back for x-rays. <laughs> All right, big boy. I'll see you later. Bye. Right, we hope boy. not to see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not to see you guys either.